Remember, TCU gave up some big plays early in that opening drive against Michigan and squeezed and forced the, uh, the, the, the... Keeper, Bennett, gets a block! Georgia draws first blood! Unlike the game against Ohio State, clicking quickly. Bennett, one little cut and the smooth run into the end zone. Not dealing with much pressure at all when he does drop back the throw. With the play action, Bennett looks down the middle. McConkey's wide open. Touchdown, dogs. Look at TCU's defense. They're not even lined up. They react late here, and now you got motion. So right away, there's confusion. Here's the bust right here by T Tomlinson. See the back coming out of the backfield? He sees him. Let's the receiver McConkey go downfield. So there's a lot there to process for this defense, and it ends up costing them. But again, you got to tip your cap to the job that Todd Munkin does there with the sugar huddle, the motion, a lot on the eyes of that TCU defense, and it cost them. Bennett has all kinds of time. Launches for Bowers again, who makes the catch in TCU territory. Break that huddle quickly. I think it's causing some miscommunication for the TCU defense, and they're trying to catch up to it. It's Jamoy Hodge, and that is a really difficult thing to do for a big linebacker at 245 pounds to stay up with Bowers, who is one of the fastest tight ends we've seen. Well, the ball better come out quickly in an empty set. Snap it at two. He's immediately pressured. Winters chasing Bennett, 13 versus 13, but the quarterback wins that battle. You blitz. You think you got speed? Do not underestimate what Stetson Bennett can do man to man. All those defenders have their backs turned to the quarterback. 11th play of the drive. Bennett keeping all the way and just sauntering into the end zone. His second rushing touchdown, and Georgia. Throwing haymakers and building a big lead now. Move with the receivers. Nobody on the edge of that defense. We saw Bennett score a touchdown like that against Ohio State. Look at how easy that is for Broderick Jones, 59. He's trying to look for somebody to block. Milton's trying to find somebody. It's their worst defended route. Those routes down the seam in the middle. Bennett looking this time to the edge. Mitchell. One-handed catch for a touchdown. And the highlight reel continues. You're right here, Chris. He doesn't have a chance that looks like to get that left the left arm up because it's locked down by, by Newton. Touchdown, Georgia. Newton's fighting to try to get that ball back. That's just brought in with his body and his right hand to try to secure it. Newton never really gives up on the play as they hit the ground. Mitchell, who had a high ankle sprain, a bad one, really spoiled his regular season, now has a touchdown catch in three different CFP games in his career. And this is a complete beatdown. 31-point margin at the break if Mosley can make this PAT. How's the location of that football for Mitchell? It's a heck of a catch, but another great throw. I see you fans hoping that... Uh, and will create some kind of a turnaround here, but that's reaching a bit. Ball to the end zone. Bowers, touchdown. And Bennett continues to dazzle. And Brock Bowers showing that he is one of the elite athletes in this sport. Space by being on the outside. Here you create space with a condensed formation, and then you create the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and you work back out. I could easily see a Stetson Bennett in that kind of system being effective because he distributes the ball and he's intelligent. And third and eight, right down the seam, and there's Big O, Darnell Washington joining the tight end party tonight down to the 11-yard line. With McConkey, and you got receiver going out, and then you get inside movement there with Darnell Washington, and nobody picks him up. The big man said, look at this seam. Our scouting report said these seams are going to be open, but there's nobody in the middle of the field. And he's thrown to a 6-7 tight end. Bennett wants more. Goes to the end zone. Bakake with another touchdown catch. Not done dominating yet. And have hit half a hundred now. To make this kind of an impact in his career. But Ladd couldn't go much last game. A couple touchdowns tonight.
TCU just not built the same way and Georgia continues to stack recruiting classes on top of each other. They don't use the portal. Be they don't have to. It's a Stetson Bennett curtain call here. Here we go. Bennett. Caps a career that began with no scholarship offer at Georgia. He'll leave with a legacy. Unlike anybody else at this school. Two time national championship quarterback. No doubt most outstanding player in his fourth playoff game. Not even he could have dreamt this. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.